In comic books and movies, superheroes are always the characters who defy all the odds. It's an amazing day, right? My name is Brooke Guinan. I am the first openly transgendered firefighter in New York City. A picture of Brooke and I and uh, Poppy. I'm actually a third generation firefighter. So I grew up with my dad and my grandfather who are also involved in the FDNY. Is it not a hypermasculine? Is it not a homophobic environment? The FDNY is not a utopia. For me, being a woman is like, it's what's in my heart and in my mind. Women firefighters in New York City are only 0.4%. There are definitely a number of people who don't feel that it's a woman's workplace. You're asking the most traditional job in the world to accept women. Now you're also asking this traditional job to accept a woman who's transgendered. It's really hard to do something and feel completely alone. After 9-11, life changed a lot. My dad wasn't home, really, for much. As a father, you want the best for your child. You kind of hope that some of your thoughts and your experiences would be a part of their lives. All of those things all of a sudden were out the window. We're just different people, you know? We're just different people. It's such an honor. Thank you. Love it took a really long time for me to learn the fact that the limitations of the world around me didn't have to be mine. <laughs> that I could be limitless in the face of a world that wasn't prepared to understand me.